I've been sent from Firenze by El Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who is it? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scouts to it at once. I appreciate the help, Uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More Codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, Uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro, teach me what to do. Now dodge. Filio di Troia, enjoy the ride down to hell. Bene, bene. Now do it again. Much better. Bravo. One last time now. See it another time. Just one more time, it's poor little face. Dying just to follow orders. Oh! Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend.
Let's pray. Pray? Pray for what? The Lord's protection. If you think the Lord has any evil, he's someone of the... Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah. Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. killed my zio Pino hey, because hey, he couldn't pay the protection for me. That's the grunge killed my Zio Pino because he couldn't pay the protection fee. Ha! 
Another disaster of dark, pathetic, destroyed The bear of primitive. Remember what I told you, ragazzi. Yourselves. The assassin has arrived! I need to find a way to open the gates. I warned you to stay away, assassin! You should have listened! Get down the Bajou, where do you think you're going? You're finished, assassin. Do you hear? You Templars. Always singing the same song. Do you think a few mercenary will scare me? Ha! They should. Shall I send your remains to that movie at Forest Mario? <laughs> What's the point? There won't be anything left of you to recognize. It's quite a plan you have. Spouting nonsense while you send these other men to die. I have a mystery. What say you to this? Turn back now and I'll call off my men. Sorry, friend. You are on my list. Your fate is sealed. Then if you from live, let us paint the walls with his blood. That is no way to treat the guests. Where is Jacopo? He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. La fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. <laughs> Ciao. Godspeed. No, Salute, Ezio. Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. Lost your virtue. You have lost 
your dignity. You have lost your faith. And this draws the demon in to feed. And feed they will. All whilst you wander lost in ignorance. Know that good men have died protecting you from his evils. Men who sought to save these lands, to beautify them. Join me in prayer, my children, so that together we might stand against this darkness. Give ear, O heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Let my teaching drop as the rain, my speech distill as the dew, as raindrops on the tender herb, and as showers on the grass. For I proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. He is the rock, his work is perfect, for all his ways are justice, a God of truth and without injustice. Righteous and upright is he. They have corrupted themselves. They are not his children because of their blemish. A perverse and crooked generation. Do you thus deal with the Lord, O oh foolish and unwise people? Is he not your father who bought you? Has he not made you and established you? <laughs> Away with you, demon! Have some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. E tu possa al fine trovare riposo. Nel corpo e nella mente. Requiescat in pace. Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncello. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. Jacopo. So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. 
We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me, this much I know. What are you and the others planning, Jacob? What? One more sent to the Lord. You will find peace in the hereafter. Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well?
let them have it. Responsible for my father's death. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I... I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament? We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Uh, uh, no. Please. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can Fix this. <coughs> Spare me. <laughs> no. <coughs> what a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this! Ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 Vai, amico. Libero da fardelli e paure. Requiesca di pace.
The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio. Thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Che la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. Leonardo! Leonardo! Mi dispiace, messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. He paid for the maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Leonardo! Ezio? What luck! I uh, have run into a bit of trouble. <laughs> Let me see if I can help. I know how to fix it, but lack the means to do so. If you could just lift the wagon. <clears throat> what is this thing? Eh? It looks like a giant bat. Oh, nothing. Just an idea I've been working on. I could not leave it behind. <clears throat> What is it for? Well, I shouldn't really talk about it. Beh, al diavolo. I can't hold it in anymore. Ezio, I think I figured out how to make a man fly. <laughs> <sighs> Come on, I'll drive. But I haven't even told you where I'm going. Such a beautiful city, so many sources of inspiration. Ponte di Rialto, Piazza San Marco, l'Arsenale. What's wrong? We're not alone. What's happening? Who are they? Rodrigo Borgia's men. Why? What do they want with us? I think they want us dead. Leonardo, hide! Trying to climb on board! Knock them off! Enter! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Someone's on top! Uh -huh. Do sharp turns to make the carriage roll! Whoa. Watch out! Don't let the carriage roll over! Whoa.
Leonardo. They are here for me, not you. I'll catch up with you later. Thank you, Ezio. You saved my life. I did what had to be done. 
you would have done the same. I doubt it. Bravery is not my strong suit. I owe you a debt, brother. Di niente. Tutti a bordo! Fra poco si salpa! That's our traghetto. Venezia waits. Where's your pass? What pass? You don't have a pass? You cannot enter Venezia without a pass. Who invited you? Eh... Uh, nobody. Basta! No pass, no entrance! Don't worry, Leonardo. I'll come up with something. Don't just stand there! I need help! Good. The ladies must like you. I wasn't looking to impress, only to help someone in distress. Which is exactly why you impress. And you are Messer... Auditore, but please, call me Ezio. I'm Caterina. Now, Ezio, we must find you suitable reward. Do you have any suggestions? There is perhaps something you could help me with. I'm all ears. Yes, signora. Whatever you say, signora. He won't trouble you anymore. I... took care of it. Thank you, Caterina. Perhaps we'll see each other again. Should you ever find yourself in the city of Forley, it would be my pleasure to welcome you. I look forward to enjoying your hospitality. Please accept my most humble apologies, Messere. But had I known... <laughs> it's quite all right, my friend. Careful, Ezio. Do you know who that was? My next conquest. <laughs> uh, I don't think so, Ezio. That's Caterina Sforza, daughter of the Duca di Milano. Her husband is... Husband? See, si. her husband is the Lord of Forli. That woman is as powerful and dangerous as she is young and beautiful. Sempre come una donna per me. Everything all right? Better than all right. You're making amazing progress. Amazing's quite a strong word. Then why are we stopping? Prolonged exposure to the Animus can have, uh, side effects. <laughs> awesome. It's nothing to worry about. You haven't shown any of the symptoms. Symptoms? What symptoms? Degradation of cognition, temporal hallucinations, multiple awareness issues, overlapping realities, you know. So, what you're saying is... What we're saying, Desmond, is if you're not careful, you may not need the Animus to visit with your ancestors. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, assuming you could control it. Up until now, though, no one has. Subject 16. We have safeguards, Desmond. And they kept him in the Animus for way too long, sometimes days at a time. We're being careful with you. I hope so. Anyway, I was hoping we could test out your skill retention. See if you've picked up some of Ezio's abilities. I'm game. Great. Meet me downstairs when you're ready.
So what's the plan? We're gonna see what you've managed to retain. Come on. Abstergo's out there, looking for us. They're better funded and better equipped, so it's only a matter of time before they find this place. We need to be ready for them when they do. I want you to activate the warehouse's defense system. I'll let you figure out how to reach the sensors. Oh, come on. Not even a hint? Open your eyes, Desmond. Lucy? I'm seeing things. Do the hallucinations last longer than 30 seconds? No. <laughs> then it's nothing to be worried about. It'll pass. So, how am I doing? You've picked up every single one of Ezio's skills. The adoption rate is fantastic. Another day or two and we'll be done. All right, you gotta tell me. Why Ezio? Why Italy? I mean, we could have just gone back to Altair again. Followed him during his early years. It started with 16. Ah, good old Subject 16. He repainted my room, you know. With his blood. I'd been going through his files. Vidic flagged a couple of his Animus sessions. A bunch of different ancestors, different dates and locations. Ancient Africa, the Middle East. But towards the end, he became obsessed with Italy. I think he knew about the vault. A few of the records of his later Animus sessions are missing. And the sessions that are there... After everything the Templars put him through... After everything... I put him through... It's all scrambled. If we hadn't pushed Sixteen so hard, we'd have the answers on him. And maybe he'd still be alive. So you're after the Codex and the Vault? I knew you had an ancestor in Italy who was at the center of all of this. All right, I think we're done for the day. You should get some rest. Lucy, what happened to Sixteen wasn't your fault. You were just as much a prisoner as I was. Thanks. Good night, Desmond. I'm glad you're here. What is this? Where am I? It's Acre. Altair. How the hell? Not even in the Animus. I must have passed out. Just having some kind of weird dream. Going without sleep for who knows how long. Guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hmm. That must be his target.
Wait a second. Why aren't I following Altai here? I'm stuck here with Maria? Oh shit. That must be. This is one weird dream. Sorry to barge in on you like this, but it's getting late and we were... Hey, you okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, all good. Weird dreams, that's all. All right. I'll let you get ready. See you in a few. Ah, good of you to join us. Sorry. Long night. What a professional. What a professional approach. Leave him alone. Well, you'll forgive me if I want to get some actual work done. Mm, madness, isn't it? Sean! Please, that's enough. All right. Messer Da Vinci! Yes? Buongiorno e ben arrivato! I'm Elvise! Signor Don has asked that I escort you to the workshop. Are you ready? Up 
Ah, Venezia. What other place is as beautiful, as stable, as perfect? Come, I will show you her wonders. Our first stop, the Rialto Bridge. Behold the elegance with which she spans the Grand Canal, a symbol of Venetian unity and pride. Let us continue. Here we are, San Giacomo di Rialto, oldest church in Venezia. Isn't she beautiful? And her clock tower, magnifico! Come, come, there's more to see. No other city can match the size of Venezia's markets, be it spices or silk, from near and far. There is... There is... You were told to stay home! But the rent is paid! I have every right to sell here! Emilio disagrees! No, no, stop, stop! Let us continue the tour elsewhere. Look, isn't it amazing? Would you mind buying it for me? I have... Uh, I left my money with my bags. Hey! And your step, Corleone! Here we have the Palazzo della Seta, home to Emilio Barbarigo. Normally I'd suggest a closer look, but... but the way things are now... Why? What's happened? He is attempting to unify the merchants beneath a single banner. There's been resistance. Some of it violent. What kind of resistance? They say they're fighting for the people. For freedom or some such nonsense. Pagianate, if you ask me. They destroyed my stand. I demand compensation. Here you are, then. <clears throat> the Doge will know about this. I'll report you to the Council. Good luck with that, my friend. What, what are you doing? You're under arrest for disrupting commerce. What? You just invented that. There's no such law. There is now. No, stop! And now, I present to you your workshop, Ser Da Vinci. We spared no expense in its design. You'll see, it is perfect, as if you never left Firenze. I wish you great success, and hope you enjoy Venezia as much as she enjoys having you. So, here we are. Exciting, isn't it? Care to come in? It may be later. I need to visit the Palazzo della Seta. And gain an audience with Emilio. As you wish. But should you find yourself with free time, or another codex page, don't hesitate to visit. My door is always open. Grazie, my friend. Di nulla.